In this video, you will learn how you can conduct keyword research using Helium 10's Cerebro tool and get a PPC strategy which will help you to improve your rankings and indexing on Amazon. If you want to try Helium 10 tools for yourself, find the link below in the video description together with few coupon codes. Do you feel searching for the best relevant and effective keywords that drives traffic and conversion is like searching for a needle in the haystack? Choosing the best relevant keywords is not just important, it's essential for visibility and sales. The challenge of identifying these keywords is even made harder due to constantly shifting algorithms, evolving consumer behavior, and the sheer volume of competitors vying for the same digital shop space. Well, we got you covered here at Orange Click, and here is our way to find those effective and highly relevant keywords that are guaranteed to pull in traffic to skyrocket your visibility, ranking, and sales. We will do it through doing a competitor's Cerebro keyword research to find out what are those sales-driving keywords that your top competitors are currently ranking on and are contributing mainly to their success in boosted sales. Helium 10's keyword research tool, such as Cerebro, which is a reverse async keyword research tool, when utilized in a strategic way, can greatly help you as an Amazon seller to not only identify the most effective keywords, but also pinpoint where to optimize ranking on based on the level of difficulty to rank higher than where your current top competitors are ranking and will give you which keywords to prioritize ranking higher. We start by selecting the main seed keyword of your product. Main seed keyword means the exact description of what your product is. Your seed keyword mainly has two to three words in total. Check what kind of product you are really trying to offer. Is it just a regular kitchen mat, a bathroom mat, or a living room mat? So you have to be a little bit more specific when choosing the right description of your product. Check in Google if the description you are using truly describes in essence what your product is. And that is where you start the process of finding your top competitors. For example, you're trying to offer a bath mat, but you are offering a unique one that is absorbent. So now you have your main seed keywords of absorbent bath mat. Type that seed keyword in the Amazon search bar. Now how to select your top competitors. You can select up to 10 competitor ASINs when doing a Cerebro keyword research. You can either choose the products that are appearing in the top of the search results page according to the highest BSR, which you will be able to see right here, the home and kitchen, which you can manually check as you can see usually 30 to 48 products are in the page 1. Be careful not to choose the sponsored products and the ones that are advertised on the top of the search page. Sometimes you can also see it in the middle of search and also at the bottom of the search. As these are PPC ad placements, we only want to include competitors that are ranking organically. You also need to select the same product like for like. For example, we are talking about this kind of absorbent bath mat. So we are going to look for the same material and the same color and most importantly, most likely than not, same price point. So this one's the gray ones. So you can select these based on the BSR. For example, this one is high on the home and kitchen. It has 471 as well as this one. So you can check manually and add those in your list of top competitors. You really have to ensure to select those products that have the same type of material, almost the same as price point, color, because you want to capture the keywords that your direct competitors are actually ranking upon. Another way to select your top competitors is by running the X-ray tool, which you can select your top competitors either with the highest reviews or highest revenue. Don't forget to filter to hide sponsored products same considerations, same price point, same material and color, in this case, gray, waffle material, not stone, not memory foam. Get the top nine ASINs and also add your ASIN, which is this one here. Once you selected and click 
the run cerebro tool and once you're in the cerebro tool results we can now refine the keywords that were gathered by filtering the search volume with a minimum of 500 and the word count is a minimum of two and the match type should be just organic so we only want to know the organic rankings of these keywords from the selected nine competitors including my own ASIN and that's it we will apply the keywords from 27,910 filtered keywords when I apply the filters it will come out as this now we only have 2,541 filtered keywords and then we add the position rank which is minimum of 30 which is in the top 30 of the top of the search page we are going to go and export the collected keywords into a csv file in the excel file or google sheet file you can rename your keyword research to competitor cerebro and there you can add the date when you created or conducted the keyword research and even the main seed keyword that you use for this keyword research. You can now further process the keywords extracted from Helium 10 Cerebro. Delete the columns and only leave search volume, position rank, and the rest of the nine ASINs you selected. Note that the position rank column is your ASIN and the numbers that you see here are the ranking of each ASIN per keyword phrase here on each row. Add five rows above. We will be tackling this later. Then you will have to add another column beside the search volume column and name this column relevancy. The purpose of this column is to check the average of ASIN competitors out of 10 ASINs that are ranking within the top 30 or the top of the search page. The formula to do this relevancy is this one. Once you have the results, here you can now select all and create a filter. You will have to filter the relevancy from highest to lowest, meaning from 10 down to 0. After that, you will have to delete the keywords that are not gathering less than 4. Note that this may change if you, for example, found just 5 competitor ASINs, then the threshold should be to take the relevant keywords that has the relevancy of 2 and not 4. Note that you still have to manually check each keyword phrase to ensure that you are selecting the most relevant keywords to your product. The industry practice is to select up to 50 keywords to add in an ad campaign to make it easier for keyword monitoring. If ever you found a high relevancy keyword but with fewer search volume, it is still considered to be a good keyword since it's still pulling in traffic and sales as it is highly relevant among your competitors as well. It is still effective as long as you also use the common sense relevancy of the product. Does it really describe your product? Then it might be a good chance to try this keyword out. Now the next step is for the third column inserted above. We have to count all the keywords that are ranking below the top 30. Here is the formula. Depending on the range of the rows you have selected as relevant keywords, those can help you as well to segregate which keywords to add to your broad, phrase, and exact match type campaigns later. Next step is to check which of the competitor ASINs have an overall keywords that are ranking within the top 30. Meaning, out of all the keywords listed here, how many keywords in percentage does the ASIN have and it will determine the difficulty with which to compete with these competitors and makes it easier for you to target the ASIN that has lower rankings. The formula for this is, if you can start color coding this percentage, that would prompt you to say green means easy competition, orange means medium competition, and red means high competition. You can create a separate tab which of the keywords you will include in your broad match type, phrase, and exact. You can also add the level of bidding and the strategy. For the exact match, I would be selecting those keywords that really describes my product, which is a gray bathroom rug and all the variations here. So I'm going to select all of these that contains the color and the variations with plural 
and then add it over here on the exact match column together with the corresponding search volume and the bidding strategy. So usually we will be using suggested bid. And then for broad and freeze is dynamic bids down. But if you want broader reach, you may bid aggressively to your broad and freeze matches, freeze match types, since broad types may have the tendency to potentially reach more audience and reach more potential to get more sale. And as for the broad match, the process of selecting really is to know that broad match types usually have the minimum of two word count. And in this case, I would like to capture the reach of those that are typing up to the three word count, which is like this one bathroom bath mat even this the spanish version of these things i would also add it here i would only limit my selection up to three word counts so i will go over and paste it here over my broad match column so in total i do have here about 81 keywords and so i would also i would still try to process it even more and only select the top 50 keywords that I think are the most relevant right now for my product. And for the phrase match, the PPC campaign that will be running through this phrase match is playing in between the word count 4 and above. And I would only like to capture all of their audience or target customers that are typing not in exact order of these phrases. So for the phrase match, I have selected about 53 keyword phrases. And again, I will process these keywords even more to refine it. Another bonus PPC tip is when you see your low competition competitor, you may run a sponsored product targeting campaign on the weak competitor ASIN. This is to ensure that when customers are in the ASIN's listing and can see your product being advertised in this part of the product listing, then they might change their minds and choose your product instead. The caveat here is to ensure that your product has better product images, price point is competitive, and in short, you offer a much more better product in terms of reviews as well. Another way is to target your top competitors or high difficulty competitors. Sponsor product attributed targeting or ASIN targeting to broaden your reach to the audience that already knows the top competitor that you are trying to compete. But this means that you will spend lots of money to win this spot. And that means budget is not a problem for you if this is your goal. Once you set up and launch your campaigns in exact, broad, and phrase match types, which is all the way the campaign targeting is manual, generally, you would wait to gather enough data within a week or two weeks to determine if some keywords are performing well and driving conversions and adjust your bids accordingly. So today we were able to show you a comprehensive way to do a competitor keyword research to help you in identifying those highly relevant keywords that are currently driving more sales to your competitors and that you may strive to rank higher on them to be able to reap in the sales that comes with ranking high in these keywords. We were able to segregate the keywords by relevancy within the top 30 products or the top of the search page results and suggest bids depending on your goal whether to rank higher on low competition keywords or high competition keywords. We also suggested some golden nuggets but effective sponsored product PPC campaign strategies to broaden audience reach. All with the aid of Helium 10's very effective keyword research tools such as Cerebro. If you want to try Helium 10's all-in-one Amazon seller tool to do more advanced and effective keyword research and tracking, Save big using our coupon codes in the description of this video below. Get 10% off any Helium 10 monthly plans using coupon code ORANGE10 or get 20% off the first 6 months using the ORANGE M20 code. If you like the videos that we just made, don't forget to send in the good vibes in the comment section and please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel that's Orange Click. Again, this is Nikki from Orange Click. Thank you for watching. I hope this video will help you to find relevant keywords to rank higher. If you want to try Helium 10, don't forget that there is a link in the description below together with some coupon codes. So save some money. And uh, if you enjoy the content we create, don't forget to hit like below this video.
and subscribe to our channel. And now I would like to invite you to watch uh, more videos about Helium 10. It's the whole playlist, so check this out.